Hello, I'm Shelly Whitlatch with the El Rio Health Builders. Today we're going to learn how to do a short exercise routine with a ball. So for this routine, you can use a beach ball like I'm using right now, or you could use a, a playground ball that you could purchase at the 99 cent store for 99 cents. We usually get these kinds of balls for our exercise classes. Today we're gonna to use the beach ball because it's easy to use. And so hang on to the beach ball like so, nice and firmly. And we're gonna start by taking a deep breath, inhaling, and a long exhale. And again, inhaling, and exhaling. So the first exercise is an exercise for our balance, where we're gonna toss the ball from side to side and as we toss the ball, our eyes will track the ball side to side without moving our head. So no head movement, just the eyes tracking the ball from side to side. This is an exercise that works on our vestibular balance, the fluid in our inner ear, actually. Back to center, same thing, tossing it up and down. And again, you don't want to take your chin up and down. Your eyes are looking up, your eyes are looking down. And you could do this a couple of times, maybe 10 tosses side to side, and 10 tosses up and down, eyes tracking throughout, and come back to center. All right, we're gonna move down to lower body exercise. So we're gonna put our ball down on the floor with the ball of our foot on top of the ball. Scoot yourself around a little bit so you're nice and solid, knee is bent. And with the ball of your foot, you're going to press down on the ball. Press down, press down, squeezing the ball of the foot into the ball. You might notice that your abdominal muscles are contracting a little bit at the same time, which is all good. So about 10 times pressing down, working on those muscles right around that thigh. The top, the inside, outside, and the lower part of your upper leg. Roll the ball out for a nice stretch. Sit up nice and tall, toe is up, lean forward a little bit if you like, and roll it back. Let's do that again. Roll it out, toe comes up, nice tall posture, feeling that nice stretch in your calf and your Achilles tendon, maybe some in your hamstring. Roll it back, let's do one more. Roll it out, toe is up, and then lean forward. You can hang on here on your thighs or on the seat of your chair hinging forward with a straight back, get a nice stretch for your calf, your Achilles, and your hamstring in the back of your thigh. Hold that stretch for about a count of 10. Now roll it back and roll it out again, toe is up. Now, with a relatively straight leg, just a little bit of a knee bend, press down again. Still working on all those muscles around your legs. Press down, press down, press down, press down. About 10 of these, four, three, two, one. Roll it back. Take your foot off the ball and bring your ball right between your ankles, about an inch off the floor. Lift the foot up and press one foot, one ankle into the ball. So it's a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Again, you feel all those muscles in your leg working and squeezing those abdominals at the same time. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's do the other side. Put the ball of your other foot on top of the ball and lean forward just a little bit. Press down, press down, press down, press down. Good. Feel those lower leg muscles and upper leg muscles working. Four, three, two, and one. Roll it out. Lifting your toe up, get that nice stretch for the calf and the Achilles tendon, bring it on back, roll it out again, stretch, and back, roll it out again, maybe three to five times, toe is up for a little bit more hamstring stretch, lean forward with a nice straight back. Hold it there for four, three, two, and one, about 10 counts. Bring your chest back up and we're gonna press down again. Slight knee bend, press down, press down, press down, squeezing the heel into that ball about 10 times. Four, three, 
two, and one. Roll it back. Bring the ball between your ankles again, about an inch off the floor. Lift the other foot up and squeeze in, working those inner thighs, outer thighs, top of the thigh, back of the thigh. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Pop the ball up or reach over and pick it up. All right, now we have the ball up here. We're gonna work a little bit on your abdominals. So we're gonna put the ball in your low back right like so. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see this a little bit better. I'm turning my chair sideways, you can stay right where you are, seated, and the ball goes right in your low back. I think you can see it a little bit better here. And we're going to start by rolling the ball from side to side. As you roll the ball, you can let your arms hang over the side, lift one hip up, lift the other hip up really pressing your low back into that ball. It's a nice massage. It should feel good. And come back to center. Readjust the ball as you need to so it's in your low back. Let's do another abdominal exercise. It's called the puncheroo. We're gonna inhale, open your arms nice and wide. Exhale, bring your fingertips in as if you're punching yourself in the stomach, squeezing the low back into the ball. Inhale and arch the back. Exhale and round the back. Inhale and arch. Exhale and round. Inhale and arch. Exhale and round. One more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, chin is on your chest, fingertips on your belly. We're gonna press in with your fingertips, squeezing briskly. Pressing your low back into that ball, pressing in with your fingertips, squeezing your buttocks as well as your abdominals. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Now bring the ball up a little bit closer to your shoulder blades. Lean back a little bit. Take those hands hanging onto your chair seat or the back of your chair so you get a nice stretch through the chest. <clears throat> so you're squeezing the ball between your shoulder blades, stretching out through the chest, strengthening those muscles in your upper back. This is a great postural exercise, especially if you spend a lot of time slumped over a computer or a sewing machine or writing. This is a great stretch to do several times during the day to relieve tension in your shoulders and release. Great. I'm gonna turn myself back around. You can stay right where you are. And keeping your ball in your low back. So let it roll down from your shoulder blades to your low back. Get yourself situated again. We're gonna do a couple more punches. Inhale out, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, arch, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, arch, exhale, squeeze. One more, inhale, arch, Exhale, squeeze the old brisk squeeze again. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. About 10 times. Good, now circle the ball all the way around. Oh, that should feel good. Nice little massage. Loosening up your hips. Reverse that circle, back around the other way and come back to center. Great. Pick up your ball, bring it around to the front. All right, let's do a couple of exercises for wrist and finger and hand strength. We're gonna squeeze the ball with our fingers and the heels of our hands and then open. Squeeze and open. Squeeze, inhale out, exhale, squeeze, inhale out, exhale, squeeze, one more, inhale, and exhale, good. Circle the ball around, working on wrist range of motion, still a little bit of exercise for your fingers. Reverse that, even feel your arms getting some action, your upper arms and your lower arms. Back to center. Put the ball in the palm of one hand, other hand on top, circle it around, opening up a jar, reverse it, and again, you feel that upper arm working. 
Reverse to the other side, circle it around, maybe even working a little bit of that tricep muscle as well as the wrist. Reverse it. Come back to center. Hold on to that ball, smile, and that is your ball exercise plan. Thank you.